Hey guys, Malik Mastery here. Today I'm going to show you who you are. You run around calling yourself gods, you call yourself Moors, you call yourself African Americans, you call yourself Americans, you call yourself Africans, you call yourself every byword, including black people, under the heavens. But today I'm going to show you who you really are out of the scripture, according to the word of God. I'm start reading in Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 62. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas you were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. And it shall come to pass, that as the Lord rejoice over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you, and to bring you to naught. And ye shall be plucked from off the land, whether thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people, from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shall thou find no peace, neither shall thy soul of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing eye, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. Now see in verse 62, the God of the Bible had it written that we were as stars of heaven for multitude, but because we wouldn't obey the voice of God, our numbers are few. We are so-called minority in this land amongst the people that have only been on the planet for 7,000 years. When we've been here for, I don't know, since the beginning, okay? And this is what you got to understand. We're called a minority because of numbers. And those numbers are a fact because they've been killing us and hanging us and shooting us in the back as long as I can remember. Then when you look at verse 63, it says, Thou shalt, it, it shall come to pass that the Lord rejoice over you to do you good. God used to rejoice over us to do us good. Even when it came all the way down to Black Wall Street, that was just an example of how we used to operate. Then the enemy took aircraft and bombs and automatic weapons and everything else and destroyed us off of Wall Street. So this is one of the lands among the people where God sent us where we couldn't have no peace, where we feared day and night, which we still do. You're always in fear of what the police is going to do. The police, as you know, is nothing but the Ku Klux Klan. And that's a continuation of when God had us scattered, verse 64, had us scattered among all the people from one end of the earth to the other. Everywhere you look on earth, you find this people that call themselves black and brown and Afro-American and African-American, Moors, ETC. Everywhere you look, you find this people that call themselves all, by all of these proverbs and bywords, okay? Now you look and the most important thing to take away from this whole ideal is 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. We was put out of our land because we wanted to serve false gods. We was put in this land so that we could serve false gods because we refused to serve our God. So now you won't serve nothing but false gods. You serve all kinds of, it, it even got all the way down to the end of this verse, the end of verse 64, where it says, you serve even wood and stone. What's the stones that you worship? Diamonds, you know, pearls, rubies, all of this type of stuff. What's the wood that you serve? We ain't talking about that cross. See, that cross is a death symbol made out of wood. That's what they, that's what they hung your God on. Your God got hung on a wood cross. What kind of God is that? Your God was the God of the creation that created everything, seen and unseen. But nevertheless, you want to go and serve somebody else's God, which is why you're in the condition you're in today. You're a foolish nation, and I don't know if you'll ever will.